So, our topic for today is none other than technology. And I'm going to talk about four different points that you will see on the screen, hopefully, somewhere. I don't know where, it depends on my editing skills. And the first topic is going to be the pros and cons, the advantages and disadvantages of technology. The second one will be the definition and the contrast between a technophile and a technophobe. My third point is going to be a general overview about smart devices. I'm going to talk about some smart devices. And uh, fourth and last will be uh, my personal opinion about technology and our modern day technology and developments. So first of all, let's start with point number one. Well, I'm going to contrast two viewpoints, the pros and cons of technology. A technology makes our life better since everything is comfortable now, information is available everywhere and we can use our computer even from our pocket. If we are bored, our smartphone is a real entertainment center and we can have fun in several different forms. However, everything has a dark side as well. Technology is not an exception in this case. If we live our life in a comfortable way, our health can suffer greatly from some harmful impacts. The sedentary lifestyle that we live have a vast effect on us. A lot of people have become overweight or obese and developed illnesses like diabetes and heart attack. Children are addicted to their smart devices and unable to communicate with their parents and their peers as well. Let's jump to point number two. A technophile is a person who loves modern technology and a technophobe is someone who can't stand it. Point number three. Smart devices take hold in our households nearly everywhere. There are smart fridges, washing machines, shockingly mirrors, but the most widespread gadgets are tablets and smartphones. These pieces of technology are considered smart since they are able to function as mini computers and perform everything that a normal PC would be able to do. My last point would be, I'm a huge technophile and my home is full of devices and gadgets. I use them to make my life more effective and much more comfortable without being addicted to them, if it is possible. We have to find a balance in life so the harmful effects won't be dominant and we can have a much better way of living. So that was the end of this topic. It was very, very fast and maybe it was brief and a, a little bit short but you can always add some extra points if you want you can always contact me what to talk about and your viewpoint can be very different from mine so i think i could help you a little bit i wish you good luck with this topic i like this topic and i think it's a very easy language language exam topic so uh, the main point here is don't be afraid, try to talk about your own life, try to talk about some general points about technology and if I could give you another piece of advice, well, I would also talk about some personal anecdotes, for example, buying your first smartphone or talking just about your smartphone in general, it could be very, very useful. So. See you in the next topic, hopefully, and I wish you a very, very nice day and a nice summer. See you next time. Bye-bye.